another sunny day in Massachusetts. I'm actually in New Hampshire right now, so that doesn't make sense. Another sunny day in New Hampshire. I've got the F30 today, and I wanna go over a common question, a question that I see all the time in the comments, in my DMs, just people messaging me, asking me, is it okay to run a staggered wheel setup on an X-Drive BMW? And are you gonna do damage to the transmission? Are you gonna do damage to the powertrain? Are you gonna do damage to the drivetrain? All these things that I hear pretty often, and uh, I just wanna go ahead and take a second to answer that question, as well as share my fitment, what my wheel specs are. That is actually, I lied. I get that question more than anything, is what are your wheel specs? And I hate, personally, well, we'll get into that, we'll get into that. So if you purchased a BMW or an F30 with X-Drive, you have all-wheel drive, and that's not something that we can just shut off. So a lot of times people ask, is it okay to run a bigger tire and a bigger wheel in the back than you do in the front to give it that staggered look? And that's what you see here. I have a smaller wheel and tire up front and a bigger wheel and tire in the back. But there is one key point to all of this. To quickly answer the question, is it okay? Yes. Should you do it? That's the good question to ask is, are you doing it the right way? The true way to be doing it the right way technically is to run a staggered setup where your rear and front diameters of your wheel and including the tire so you want to take the diameter of the front and the diameter of the back and you want it to be less than one percent difference what i mean by that is a less than a one percent difference in diameter basically what is happening is if you put a smaller wheel and tire on the front than you do in the back X-Drive is gonna think that there's slippage. So if it's too much smaller in the front, there's more rotations in the front than there are in the back. Therefore, the X-Drive system is thinking that the front wheels are slipping, therefore it's gonna take power away from the front wheels and try and divert it to different wheels that do have traction. So you may not be slipping, you may not be on rain, you just may be, you might be driving normally, but X-Drive will still think that the fronts are slipping. So that's why that 1%, being under that 1% is where you wanna be. Get your notebooks ready, boys, because I've got my wheel specs and I'm about to share them with you. So I am on a staggered VMR V804 setup. They are all 19 inch wheels. Fronts are eight and a half inches wide, ET35. So 19 inch rim, eight and a half width, ET35 is the offset up front. And on the fronts, I'm running a, you probably can't read that, but it's a 235, 35, 19 tire. And on the backs, these are 10 inch wide wheels. Again, 19 inch diameter, and the ET or the offset is plus 45. So that's my specs. In the tire, I'm running a 265 30 19 in the back, and uh, that is, in fact, a staggered setup. So I think it just looks a lot better, especially on this car. Just having the beefier tires in the back, the beefier wheels makes it uh, poke a little more, makes it look a little more aggressive, especially when I'm at my ride height. Right now, I'm aired out, guys, so this is not my ride height. I'm aired out and uh, the car actually sits about two inches t higher up when I'm actually driving. You might be asking, like, I have my wheel specs, I know what I wanna run, but how do I get that 1%? What do I see, or how do I check to see if I'm in that range? So there's a lot of calculators on there. If you look up, like, wheel diameter calculator or wheel diameter difference calculator, I use the one at fitmentindustries.com. Huge shout out to those guys. They make it very easy. You just put in your tire size, your wheel size, and all that. Actually. I take that back. You just throw in your tire size because it's already assuming what the wheels are. You just plug that in, it gives you your variance. I am at a 0 0.83 variance in overall diameter, so I'm underneath that 1%, which is why I can happily say I've had absolutely no issues running this car with a staggered setup while having extra. Now during the winter time, I do put my stock wheels back on, which are obviously a squared setup. They're built for this car, built for X-Drive. They have the crappy run flat tires on them, but they are a squared setup, so they're not staggered. And I run that in the winter months, especially up here in Mass with the snow and everything. So I can't really speak to my staggered setup in the middle of winter to the point of being in a lot of snow, but just summertime driving, casual driving while I have these on, or even aggressive driving, I've had no issues with slippage, never felt like there was a you know, pull and power from one end of the car to another. I almost forgot, if you guys didn't check it out, I run Hankook Ventus V12 tires on my F30. It's the only set of tires I've ever run besides the stupid run flats that come stock. It's the only set of tires that I've run. I'm on my second set and I've had this car for three years. So running it for three summers, you know, driving 
aggressively, you know, driving moderately as well, but I've never had any issues over the past three years running a staggered setup. All the wear and tear on these has been pretty normal as far as the tires go. Normally you will see a lot of extra wear on tires that are inappropriately sized for an all wheel drive vehicle. So if you start to notice the fronts or maybe the backs or even just one side is wearing harder than the other, you might have one an alignment issue, but two, it could also be the X drive or the all wheel drive consistently putting extra power on one side because it's detecting a slippage in one other part or one other wheel of the car. I'm curious though, if you guys are comfortable sharing, like I shared my wheel specs. That's what I was gonna say, by the way, before I jump into that. I don't like sharing wheel specs because it's an art to me. Fitment is an art. And uh, it wasn't just a plug and play with these. It wasn't just, uh, I'm just gonna guess and go for it and it's gonna come out awesome. It took a lot of research on the forums, researching what other people were running to try and adjust it a little bit to fit exactly what I need. So, so many hours of research and test fitting wheels and seeing exactly what I wanted to run. So that's why I'm hesitant to just go and like give you guys my wheel specs. I'm going to do it today because I'm just a good guy, but um, I don't like to do it normally just because I think you should have to work a little bit harder than just saying, hey, what are your wheel specs? And I'm gonna copy it, exactly. So, you know, whatever, do you. If you like my fitment, this is why I'm making this video so you guys can uh, match it or at least have something to go off of. You don't have to necessarily mimic my setup, but you can take that as a reference point and then maybe go and change it a little bit to uh, fit whatever you're looking for. But that's it that's where it stands i've had no issues with my staggered setup and i'm really happy with it i think the squared setup just looks funny on this car especially when it's built so aggressively like it is and uh with being on air fitment was everything for me how is it going to look aired out how is it going to look and be drivable or is it still going to be drivable aired up you know are these wheels going to fit are they going to rub all this stuff and um, i should say that i do not rub at all even in the fronts when i'm aired out it is literally right up against it it's not pulling the fender at all it's not rubbing but it is basically as tight as you possibly can go especially up in the front the rear because of the natural camber when you air the car out it does actually suck in the wheel and there is quite a bit of gap here if you even wanted to run maybe maybe a ten and a half might fit in the back i'm not too sure but um, again that's what i'm saying it's just test fit stuff oh i got some oh no is that a scratch Oh boys, might have just found ourselves a new rock chip. That sucks. Anyways, what I was saying is you can adjust my settings, adjust my fitment to fit what you're looking for. So maybe you're not on air, maybe you want to go for more of that beefy track look. Maybe you can squeeze a 10.5 in the back, and maybe even a 9 up front, as long as you're not airing it out. So, just something to think about. I've been meaning to plug the merch lately. I keep forgetting to plug it in my videos. So uh, guys, if you want to support the channel, support me and what I'm doing, you can go ahead to the website. I will have a link down below, but if you don't want to scroll down, it's www.elevatedmediamerch.com. All proceeds go to helping build this car, keep the cameras rolling, right? That's what's most important. So thank you to everyone who's already picked up merch. Really stoked on you guys supporting. So I do think I'm gonna make a similar video running over my wheel specs for the Prelude as well. So I was debating on just doing this all in one video, but I'm only one person and I can't drive two cars. So we have the F30 here today and these are the wheel specs we're going over. If you're planning on running a staggered setup, as soon as you plug it, or not plug and play, but as soon as you put the wheels and tires on that are staggered, just keep an eye on them. Check the tread just periodically, you know, especially in the first few weeks that you're running it check it to make sure that the tires are running or wearing evenly and you're not seeing any weird abrasion on the tires nothing like that obviously pay attention to how the car drives this is going to be very important so make note mental note of how it drives before maybe if it's on the stock wheels and then make note of how it drives afterwards if you feel power lag if you feel like it's pulling if you feel like it's just driving funky that might be very well related to your staggered setup so in summary test fit test fit test fit and use that calculator to figure out if you're in that one percentile or under that one percent so you're basically safe to run a staggered setup that one percent is basically so minimal that the x drive system won't really detect that there's much difference so it won't detect slippage is what i was referring to before the wheels and tires aren't actually slipping but just because there's fewer rotations on the front let's say it's basically detecting that the fronts are slipping and it's putting more power to the rears because it thinks that it's losing traction so if 
you're consistently running that staggered setup and the car is consistently thinking that, you can quickly see how drivability would immediately drop and you'll probably be putting extra wear and tear on the tires. Not good, also could lead to powertrain, drivetrain, transmission, I don't know, all sorts of issues. There's so many computers in these cars that they're finicky and if you don't do it just right, you may not have a good time with it. Just uh, take your time, do your research, and uh, again, use that calculator to make sure and double check your fitment's gonna work, and again, be under that 1%. So um, I think I've pretty much covered everything. If you guys have any questions about my fitment, anything I missed except for my wheel specs, put it down in the comments, let me know. I'll try and get back to you guys. I will get back to you guys. And uh, I've been basically lately looking at the video comments, and I take the most asked questions, the most uh, asked comments, and or most asked comments, that doesn't make sense. I take the most asked questions and I try to make a video on it, so don't think that I don't hear you guys. I think somebody did ask, you know, what are your wheel specs, please make a video on it. I finally gave in guys, you've got the wheel specs, now you can't ask anymore, but I hope this helped and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did, give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, my name's Connor, this is my channel, Elevated Media, and I make DIY car vlogs. So all sorts of stuff, but basically pertaining to the F30 chassis on BMW and I also have my 1988 Honda Prelude for some more old school stuff that we like to do on this channel. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time and keep elevating. Peace out.